Welcome to Coyote News and good morning Montpelier. I'm By Joden and I'm here with Hank Orman. Due to our recent budget increase, we actually have been able to increase our like our just the content's quality. Give an example. Welcome to Coyote News and good morning Montpelier. I'm but <laughs> Joe, by no, by Joden. You're by Joden. Is this live? Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's fine. I think it's good. Yeah, it's good. But how do you feel about being in certain imminent danger constantly? Are y'all gonna attack me? Yes. Oh. Uh, okay. No. <laughs> no. Okay. You probably shouldn't um, have said that. Just keep going. It's fine. <laughs> we, they can cut it. They can cut it. That was intriguing. This morning, we are going to take a look at our on-street correspondent, uh, eccentric billionaire, Dashiell Blumen. Over to you, Dash. Are you rolling? Have you heard? iPhones are exploding all across the nation. How do you feel about that? Um, that would be a good thing for the nation. We use our iPhones far too much. You think that's uh, accurate? You know what's ironic here is that somebody who sees this is probably going to see it on their iPhone. <laughs> Maybe I should rethink my career. You got you rolling? You yeah. rolling? Excuse me there. If you're not in a hurry, could we interview you? No. Okay. You heard it now, folks. No. Excuse me there. Do you have some time to speak? No, I don't. Thank you though. Sorry. But one question we're, for both of you. Can you both ready. really sternly say no? no. Can, do not do not eat no. them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, why do you think people don't like to be asked questions and interviewed? They don't like to think about themselves too much. I honestly despise my voice, so I can understand that. <laughs> yeah. Look closely on TV. You might see yourself. Maybe. Thanks, Dash. That was very entertaining. I see here uh, on the screen that you... Uh, had some rough patches. I knew that person's mother, and I will fib. Lucia, if you're watching this, I will tell your mother. Wow, that's what we call revenge. So I wanted to know, what was it like going on the street and interviewing people? A lot of the people I asked uh, went along with it quite well and uh, gave very mysterious answers, answers you would probably expect from someone possessed by a demon or a ghost. Wow, wow. And I heard you mention ghosts, but we'll have to wait for later for that one. Coyote News will be right back after this ad break. It's a real thing. It's the way it should be. That the world wants to see. As you can see around us, a devastating storm spawned within the mouth of Satan himself is devastating our town tearing up buildings, torrential rains hit this morning, and it absolutely wiped out my entire property. Okay, can we cut there? Yeah, that was really good. You're so cool. Hello. Uh, welcome back. Rich, I think some of the viewers might have been a bit confused about exactly what you meant. Uh, torrential downpours? I saw nothing of the sort. I think we should cut back to you. This, this weather is horrible and it's ravaging our homeland. The rain is pounding down even now, after all of these days, just crashing down, destroying everything. I worry what it means for the worldwide economy, to be completely honest. I would advise against believing Rich. I do not know what he's talking about. And I think I'm going to go and take a walk to clear my head. Yeah, so that's all today, folks. Well, that was some disturbing footage. I hope Cliff's okay. So here we have Rich Ard to talk. Hello, thanks for um, It really seemed like nice weather. What was, what was that experience like? I think to the untrained eye, it may have seemed that way. However, if open your eyes, then you can see fire like coming down. You, you said the untrained eye. Uh, where'd you go to school to become a meteorologist? High school. Thanks for coming in. Um, it's been very eye-opening. Let's move on to some spooky local stories. Over to our local ghost expert, Ghost Ghost Man, who is definitely not me, and the full news team as they investigate local paranormal activity. 
sir, sir, sir. How do you feel about a ghost? Oh yeah, there's ghosts here, all right. Actually, I did notice this thing over here. Uh, the building's floating. What? This was never here before. Came out a couple years ago, saw this corner floating. You see this area right here? That is floating, that is a ghost. That cannot be natural. That is no hole, that is a floating building, everybody. This must be some supernatural things going on. We're doing a ghost hunting, and we'd like to ask you a few questions, if that's all right. Yeah, sure. I don't sure. Well, I'll refer to the story, because this story was pr printed a couple years ago, but her name mm. was Anna. Anyway, Anna. Ghost, yes. Mm. Cool name. In 1897, Anna, born mm. Carrie Anna Wheeler in East Montpelier, oh. was a 17-year-old woman who had plans to meet her fiancé, Jack Wheeler, and mm. she caught the 8.30 train to Barry for Decoration Day festivities... This woman shot Anna and then herself using a 32 caliber Goodness. revolver. Wow, that was uh, that was bloodier than I was expecting. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes! Oh goodness, I'm starting to rethink this. I am just a child. I fear existence itself. The ghost is here. As you can see, you probably can't see. And I have a couple of questions for you. Okay. What do you do with your time when you're alone up here? I like flicker light. It's awesome. Now that is creepy. Have you possessed anyone? Uh, no. I haven't really thought about it, but I could. You know, okay. I'm I'd rather you not. Okay. okay. Thanks for tuning in to another spooky episode of right. Spooky Stories with Ghost Ghost Man. Now that was spooky. Sadly, that's all the time we have for today, folks. I'm Hank Gorman. And I'm By Joden. We can't wait to see you next time. Cliff, is that you? Wait. Cliff! It's coming! <laughs> Cliff, what happened? Oh.